Hi everyone, okay, welcome back to the uh, video tutorial that's dedicated to QLab and uh, MagicQ. So in this tutorial I will show you a little bit more advanced stuff that you should be aware of when you're working with the QLab and the MagicQ. So in, um, I'll show you a few things that uh, you can play with. So first of all, uh, in my example, I dropped in, it says MIDI note on. So, and I'm sure people uh, people will be asking, so what's the MIDI, we haven't used it, so wh what is it going to do? So basically the idea is, so when my song start, uh, finishes, the next step after the, the, the song finishes, it sends the MIDI time code stop signal for the time code track, yeah? So it's all good, it's all fine, but we still have our, uh, our queue, or queue stack, is still active in the magic queue. So what it means is it may still have some of the values actively running because the fader is up. Of course, inside of the magic queue you can create another step in the sequence and you can create the, the release macro etc. But I will show you how to use external MIDI note command that will be going into my MagicQ system and it will work. So again, I will remind you that you need to have the MagicQ system unlocked in order to be able to receive a MIDI time code in. And in my case, I'm also using a rack mount dongle. That's the only device we currently have that can uh, not just unlock your PC, but also allows you to send the MIDI notes in. But if you don't have the rack mount, you have a PC wing, you have um, you have mini wing or you have the other devices, uh, you can send the OSC commands or you can send the UDP commands. Okay, it, I will leave it down to you how to do it. Uh, but in my case, I'm gonna use just simple MIDI notes. Okay, so what I need to do on my, um, mad, uh, on my uh, QLab site on my Mac and then after that I will show you what you need to do on your PCs uh, running on the Mac, uh, running MagicQ. So on the Mac site where you have the QLab you see this MIDI note, yeah? So when you select it, it brings you different options here. You need to do is you need to go to the settings and you need to make sure the MIDI destination is set again as a network session one. And again, if you're going to say, what is the net network session one, I'm going to bring this window. If you don't remember where this window is coming from, you basically need to go to your applications, like, you know, when you do come applications in the others and you have the audio MIDI setup. In that window, it will bring you this. If it hasn't brought you, you can press window and basically you just go to the show network device browser. So when you, uh, sorry, not that one, you press and say uh, uh, show MIDI studio. So when the MIDI studio comes in, you will be able to actually press this button and you will be able to see your sessions. So this is session one. And we have the network session one. That's the correct one. We I've chosen the MIDI type as a MIDI voice message. So it's just st standard musical MIDI note and you can send a, a set a command. So in my case, I've set a command as a no, note on, and I've set as a channel one, and the note number I can set as one as well. And I, if I want to test it, I can just press the button called send message, and I can actually test that it is actually working on my uh, MagicQ system, and it will work if you set it up correctly. And this is what you need to do now, on the MagicQ site on the PC. Okay, on the PC site, again, I will remind you, you have to go to Tools, Virtual USB MIDI Setup, and now you need to make sure that both of the parts will be enabled. So to enable it, you have to untick the box which says Disable. You untick it, and it will allow you to actually see the device that will be sending the MIDI nodes. So you press OK. So now after that, what you have is, is following. What you have to do is following. So you, in order to set up the, a command that will be killing that playback number nine, you need to press the button called macro. You'll come to this window. Then you go to the view automation. And by default, it's gonna be all empty. So what you do is you press insert automation and then you, what you do is you just double click and you choose the option. So in my case, I'm using MIDI note. If you're using OSC, you choose OSC. 
you press MIDI note and then you choose what uh, note type you're going to have note on, note off, or on off, or it's a, a control a control uh, values with a CC. But in my case, I'm using note on, like on a QLab. Then I've set as my note, because you remember it says, it tells me that I'm using note number one, as it says in a QLab. And as a channel, you can actually specify which channel you want to use. You can s type in here, says it says C, uh, set MIDI channel. You can put it as one. And then you choose the function. So you double click and you choose the options. You've got the options, let's say, as a playback activate, playback release. So at the moment, the playback by playbacks, we mean 10 playbacks on your current page. So you have 10 playbacks you can play with. You can set, activate the playback and also uh, set the levels. You can also activate, let's say, cues, etc. So in my case, I will say I want to do the playback release. So as a playback release, uh, it's going to ask me which playback you want to release. I can say release me the playback number 9 and press enter. So in that case, if I will be running my time code using this Q stack, then when the, the, uh, when my song finishes on the QLab, it will actually trigger release command and it will release that playback. So at the moment I can remove that because I don't need it. I already have the correct one. Press remove. So it's been removed. Now I have the same one that I have. So it's MIDI node, note on, channel one, uh, uh, note one, channel zero, and I'm, pr and I'm using the action called playback release number, playback number nine. Okay, so let's see how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna, on a QLab, uh, so I'm going to raise my fader up, you can see it, and now I will press uh, play the song. So as you can see, it's all working, it's all running, it's all good, it's all fine, but now I don't want to wait two and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to the end of the song, see, well, as soon as it triggers to the next command, so as soon as it triggers the next command, it actually triggered MIDI note on, and this MIDI note sent a MIDI command into your console, and you've seen it's been uh, released. So you see, doing that way, you can actually uh, trigger ex some extra stuff on your console. So. I hope it was useful for you. Again, you can play with this. You can use the manual to look for the other uh, commands, etc. And uh, the other two things I'm going to show you here, I'm going to show you how to enable the, the, ch the MIDI notes to be received on the console as well. To do this, you have to go to the setup and in the MIDI timecode menu, you have the option here at the bottom says MIDI in type. I would leave it as a any channel. And I have set MIDI channel, MIDI in channel one. You can set as one. And this is all I did on my site uh, here when it comes to the MIDI notes. And uh, the other thing that I'm sure you will, you may ask, how did I do these two buttons to actually see how my time code is working? So I actually, this is how I did it. You press in the view design, you open the page on the executor, so it's empty. I make the say two by two so you see it's here then I select one uh, block I press assign special and I've chosen time code clock and I've chosen um, restart TC restart time code and on this side I did assign special time code clock time code so that's it so now if I press, you see here, it's stuck on the old data that it received. I press restart and it all goes down to zero. So now I can play with this again and you will be able to see the time code is running in time. And when I press and I stop everything, if I want to quickly restart, I just press this and it restarts. Again, I hope that was useful for you. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And again, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.